What, what's your two cents on that? Uh, I guess Bob go first since you've been being silent. Disclosure on the green mail. Yes. Okay. I was wondering how long that was going to take for some company to stand out and go, fuck you, Microsoft. Sue us. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because the agreement everybody has to sign, basically Microsoft says, yeah, you you signed this and you, you, you're under gag order. You can't tell anybody what we're fucking wanting. I was wondering how long somebody was just going to get pissed off and go, you know what, Microsoft? Sue us! We broke the contract! Oh well! <laughs> well, no, here's the great thing. To even know what Microsoft is, you know, saying you infringe upon, you have to sign an NDA. I know that! That, that was the big problem here. What, what, what they've been doing is they come to the company and go, you're infringing on our patent, but we're not going to tell you which one until you sign this thing that says you won't tell anyone. Well, you know what, but... Barnes and Noble is like, no, because the patents are public knowledge, and y you and us are a publicly traded company, so screw off. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, what they said was, um, you know, uh, some of the things, you know, you know how Android seems fragmented. I use that term very loosely now. It, it oh God, I hate that. Like I, you're going to get now. me started because I think that's an actual, a, a good thing. Be able to be. I happen to agree, and I don't think the fragmentation is this oh dear God thing I made out to me. It's a negative connotation, like it drives me crazy. That's why they call it fragmentation, but. Well, well, no. Microsoft has been placing limitations on Android devices, like when OEMs can actually make an update and blah, 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 blah. Are you, wait, wait, that would mean that possibly some of the reasons some of the Android devices are being so slow to update is because of Microsoft? Exactly. If thing like I have a Samsung device that is part of the Galaxy S models that hasn't been upgraded because why? Oh, because it uses Bing. It uses you know Microsoft as the default search engine and Maps and blah blah. blah. Well, I don't know if I agree with that. I think it's more the carriers that are U.S. carriers just flat out suck. They like to keep. They don't care. U.S. carriers predominantly live to sell you the phone. And then once you have the phone, don't want to be bothered again. Yeah. Until you're ready to buy another new phone. They're not interested in keeping you on the same phone. They well, and, and we have a big, we have a, there's a big, like, black box around, okay, is it the OEM, like Samsung or Motorola or HTC, because of what they did, that is causing the delay in the update of Android? Is it that uh, Google hasn't provided enough documentation so that they can easily roll it out? Is it that the carrier is preventing easy rollout? Is it some other party, which we now have a possible candidate of, oh, Microsoft's to blame, great. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, the reality is we don't know, but this implies Microsoft may be a contributing factor. If they're companies that have signed the... Um, well, the only the one in the U.S. that hasn't signed that yet is Motorola. Exactly. Well, and obviously Barnes & Noble is with the Nook now. <laughs> oh, the only phone maker is Motorola. Third-party devices, yeah, there's Barnes & Noble and a couple other, yeah. But, yeah. You know, uh, you know some of the uh, patents are rather interesting. They only list a few. They don't list a lot, but they're, they're, they're fairly interesting as far as, like, what they mean for how they're how they're trying to control the Android threat to their mobile. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find a specific patent here. Where are they? Uh, um, it'd be under Exhibit D. Exhibit D, okay. Uh, was it 372 patent uh, web browser background image loading? <laughs> what? That wasn't even first by Microsoft. The first company to do that was uh, the Netscape browser. Exactly. Uh, which is the, which uh, is the foundation for Mozilla. What the fuck? Can we, can we, can, let's get back on. All right. Well, all I'm saying is that I don't think Microsoft has that much of an arbitrage for, for preventing upgrades of, of phones, especially on the Android. Uh, while the, these patent things definitely need to be paid, I think they get paid per unit moved. So there, it, I, I guess on that level, it would behoove the carriers to say, "Well, what, what does the carrier give a crap? Does the carrier? I mean, how does the, how does who pays in the end? Does Google just end up paying, or does each manufacturer who manufactures unit pay? The, the agreement paid in Microsoft. Is no, no, the green mail agreement is basically this: Microsoft comes to you, says you infringe on some patent they own. Uh, you have to sign a non-disclosure. It says you won't talk about it. You have to agree to pay them X dollars for every Android device you ship. Uh, actually, uh, it's, every, it's to the vendors. Right? It's to the vendors. And the other terms and conditions there is you have to agree to make X number of Windows devices. All right. Well, let's put it this way. It's not. It's not the uh, manufacturers because once the move, the phone is moved from the from Samsung, it's now really a Verizon Google deal, a Sprint Google deal, or an AT and T Google deal, or T-Mobile, whatever. Meaning that the hardware in the patent has then been paid because it's shipped. Now it's got to be sold and then maintained. That falls in the hands of Android, the software itself, meaning Google, and then what the carrier wants to do with it. But I can tell you that other carriers have all some carriers respond faster than others. Some because so much branding is involved. Look at what Verizon pays just to have the name Droid. Uh, hey, uh, yeah, they, they, they had to buy, they had to buy that from Lucas. Yeah, it's insane the amount of uh, so carriers they just don't they don't care they. Buy another phone from us. If you don't like your phone and you want an upgrade, hey, get a brand new one, uh, all new, and you, you, that, that's what they're interested in. They could care less about rolling out updates, uh, unless it's security, which then they can become a liability if they don't want security patches. But as, as far as features, I don't know, man. They're, they, they don't have, they're just, they're just like, we don't give a crap. They're, I, I just don't see any of that because I've dealt with it where I, believe me, Complain about can you upgrade this? Can you? No, no, we're not. We have no interest on that. Especially like you know, Palm with AT and T, they don't care. And Palm even released it, and all the releases hit Europe before it hit the U.S. And so all the Europeans are benefiting from updates, and here in the U.S., no, nothing. Yeah, have you noticed that yeah, us, the us, the supposed the superpower, system. runs behind in our technology improvement cycles, big time? <laughs> Uh, uh, us, the U.S., the supposed superpower, is running ever further behind. Yeah, stuck and a lot of things, man. That's all. I, I've been realizing that, especially on the tech front. We're, we may invent crap, but we just export it. We just don't. We don't do it here. I mean, our infrastructure for, gosh, like some European speeds and like in Sweden, we're that's embarrassing. I, I know. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, it, I, I I hate to say it, but technologically. If the United States doesn't get its act together, it's gonna be bitch slapped. <laughs> it is. It's just. It's gonna happen. It, they need to. 
the people who are who are making their business models standing in the way of that need to realize that's only going to hold so long, and then the whole thing's going to blow up in your face. Yeah. It's. Uh, I, I'm looking at some of these patents. Start operating system provided tabs. I'm laughing at the absurdity of Microsoft of all companies claiming that tabs infringe upon their code. I'm like, wait a minute. You know what? Well, that oh, just makes me feel bad because I would have my head. Say that again. You said your head hurt or something? Oh, no. I said their operating system provided ones, though. So, you know, like, when you're in the Android, you know, the Android settings where you have to go through the different tabs to, you know, go through different things, somehow that infringes on Microsoft's patent, which I have yet to see them implement in any product. I, you know, I, I, I thank Barnes & Noble for publishing this. Uh, I, I was wondering what these patents were. I, I These are more absurd than anything I was imagining. <laughs> What did you say a second ago, Marcel? You said something about your head? Well, I was saying that, you know, well, I didn't get so much into that rabbit thing because I was telling you about the argument that I had with Bomber and, uh, uh, you know, and his two points on the iPhone price. Because I'm kind of like listening to you and then the, this guy I'm still debating with. But uh, I feel bad now defending Bomber's statements in, in, because Microsoft isn't knowing on what side of things, and, and I don't know, it, it, it's true that I think this whole thing, because Microsoft really, it's their own fault for dropping the ball on, on mobile, and I hate the use of patents and these trivial things to try to wage war, say, say hey, we actually did this and that. I, I'm torn on it because I like, I, I, I do side with of intellectual property. Oh, uh, no, no. I am not against the protection of intellectual property. I am against the abuse of protection of intellectual yeah, exactly. property it's because like, it's the it's the abuse fair, fair. of it's the abuse of protection that ultimately does two things. It undermines the ideal of intellectual property. It undermines the uh, the point of intellectual property protection was actually to protect innovation. And using it in this way has the exact opposite effect. It deliberately prevents innovation. You know, if you make the better mousetrap, it should be your better mousetrap to, to decide how it gets better. But that the key word there is you made the better mousetrap, not your mousetrap sucks, so you're going to go destroy the guy who made the better mousetrap. And that, that, that's not what these were supposed to be used for, but that is exactly how they're being used here, and it, it, it really does make my skin crawl. <laughs> exactly. It, it, and, I mean, where should I go? I, well, I, I don't want to get, I don't want to back this, I guess. But, I, I mean, I have, it, it's extremely frustrating. It, it, for instance, I don't know how I understand where I could actually agree that, uh, the, like Jobs has a, I, I, I know this might go against the other thing. Obviously, uh, what was this guy's name? Schmidt was on the board, right, uh, at Apple, which you could say that that's very likely that inside information is then, is then passed. Although I know Android was developed in parallel and I give Android a lot of credit, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain that there's some foul play of like insider information passing to help along on the Apple front. On the Microsoft front, I, I don't know. I don't know how they can make that claim. I, well, I and I mean, and I, I, I honestly, what what what's really sad about some of these patents? I mean, the patent everybody makes fun of for Apple is the slide to unlock. I know. As like, but that. some of these patents, I mean, like patent web browser loading icon. I'm like, really? A loading icon? <laughs> it's like, I, I mean, it's, and there's, there's, they're all, all of them are stuff like that that is so excessively generic. It, you know, it honestly makes 
slide to unlock looked like a credible patent, and everybody agrees it never should have been approved. Right. That, 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 that's that's sad that these can make that look like a credible patent. Right. <laughs> now, do you mind? Because I apologize for not having my head totally in the conversation back when you were asking about the middle and routers. Because I've gone back and read it. Then okay. I, I do think it, I do think that our argument is bad. I do think that. If they want to have the routers have, uh, I don't know, this point, and that their uh, address and other information not be disclosed, I think they're, they're totally valid. I, I, good for them. Well, but my, my question is, does it really help? I mean, I mean, because the IP address is basically telling, uh, telling. Yeah, yeah, but the IP address then has to be like here. It has to be subpoenaed, and then it has to go to. Uh, that which has the DNS to it and all this other stuff, you know, which is a layer of legal law versus just having that information at a layer that is inappropriate for it, which is Google, because they are not the ISP. Well, but Google wasn't publishing this information publicly. It doesn't matter. I, okay. I, 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 I read this article. I think that they have a point. I, if you can prevent it, how did they get that information? Or is the ISP giving it to them? No, basically when the Google vans run down the road, they're geotagging anything and everything that can let them build a geo coordinate thing. So if the basically it would be the same information I would gather with my laptop out there in my car going, tell me all the Wi Fi networks that are around here and triangulate okay, their location. Remember when Apple got under pressure for building Wi Fi hotspots? For years in the dependency of its network, they didn't store addresses and shit. No, this isn't about building hotspots. This is just when the Google Earth map trucks go by. They well, I didn't need to know what to, Okay, if a Google Earth map truck goes by, what the hell are they interested in the wife and around it? What they were going to use the information for was uh, because when you're on a cell phone tower, you, uh, you can't. Yeah, between cell phone tower and G basically they were going to use it as a third metric to geotag a phone's location for things like GPS. That's the same thing Apple was doing. I, I know that. I, and I don't Apple didn't store all that crap. So I agree. Google oh. does seem to be very anxious to get that, especially and you won't even say it yourself. Uh, you know, I, 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 I don't disagree. Phone. They're asking for my phone number and crap on my Google account. They're never going to get it. Oh, no, no, that's the thing. I, I, the, it used to, you could activate a Google account. Now, to turn on a Google account, you have to give them one of two things. You have to give them a phone number, or you have to give them an email address that's valid. But it says, here, let me, let me tell you what it says. It's freaking Google, man. I'm, I'm getting tired of shit. Oh, no, yeah, it, it, they keep pestering you for it. What I find funny, though, is when you log in, there's no obvious way not to give it. Yep. Hold on a second. Let me, let me see. If you sign in, it's going to lock me out of your Google Docs because it's a different account. But, um, yeah, attention required. Please add a phone number and a secondary email address. Are you kidding me? And, and, and I, I know what you're talking about. And, and my question for you is, it's not required, but where on that screen is the no thanks, I opt out? I don't get it. Leave me alone. No, what you have to do is go up to the address. You never get that information. <laughs> well, but didn't you get the memo? We here at Google feel an ID service is essential I to... <laughs> I swear, if it does get too encroaching, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, you know, I swear, I swear you and I are going to have to sit down one of these days and create a peer-to-peer -peer document network if Google crosses that line just so we can have an equivalent to Google Docs that's web-based. <laughs> I think we're going to need it.